All right, we just came up here after a, a little bit of shooting on the range. Sam just got her React sight put on her Bear Marshall. Get this release right back on there. But I want to show you something that's real cool. Now, this is, this is my shop slash man cave slash junk room. Everybody's got one. And just some of the bows that I've collected over the years. Big fan of this guy right here. This is an oldie, but a goodie. And it, uh, it would still kill deer today if I set it up and shot it. But what I want to show you, come on over here. Let's grab this right here. Now, I just got this tool in that's going to make your Luminoc brighter and badder than ever. I hear far too often guys go, well, my Luminoc didn't turn on. Well, there's a reason. First off, all arrows, if you look at this, all arrows are not created equally. So even though I have a bundle of them, I only use a few. I'll typically, I've still been shooting a lot of the, uh, the Lumen arrows that Luminoc produced for a while, and they don't produce them anymore. Um, but I believe they were made by Victory. They're a heck of a good arrow. But these Black Eagles are really cool, and they shoot really, really good out of my traditional gear. I've got my, my Bear um, Grizzly. I've got my Sonoma, my old 76er that I bow fish with. And uh, I like a good feather for my traditional shooting. So in that traditional shooting, even with my old bows, I like that Luminoc and I gotta have it rolling every time. So I just take that old Luminoc or the old uh, standard s knock out of there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna square up this end right here. And I'm gonna make sure that the contacts on both sides of the Luminoc are going to come into contact once that inertia takes over. So easy. You're gonna put this right on here. And there's a little pad right here that has uh, like almost a sandpaper on there. And it just sets your arrow, sets here perfectly. And this is gonna make sure that the end of this arrow is squared up. And when I cut my arrow, I'll actually square that end up so the insert sits in there perfectly. But this is just to ensure that my Luminoc and all my arrows are squared up. And I just take a little bit of time. You're not gonna take a bunch off. And I just roll this. And get a look, make sure there's nothing irregular about it, but good to go there. Now I'm going to set that down here for a second. Take my uh, Luminoc, and I can't remember if this is my red or my HD orange, but you know what? Because I want to show you the HD orange, and I believe that's my red. I'm going to open up a fresh one here. And there are a couple of real cool things about the Luminoc. They've got this wire right here that wraps down around the shank. And I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place here, but this is some cool stuff. Take that wire and touch it to the ground on each side. Just double checking the battery use, okay? She's good to go, the battery's fresh. If that battery was dead, I literally just grab a new battery like this and shove in there and I'm good to go. And I'm gonna re-wrap or reroute that ground wire right around the battery, just like so. But I'll take a little bit, I, I really wish I could use some uh, beeswax, but I don't have any at the moment. But I take some of this uh, old boning wax, and on the shank portion of the knock that goes into your arrow, I'm gonna line, I'm just gonna line this with a little bit of wax. Set that down there, just rub that on there real nice. And then take my squared off arrow using this fast tool, and I'm going to insert my Luminoc. And what I'll do is once I kind of get it lined up, I'm going to give it a couple good turns. And then I'm going to index it. I like to shoot a little bit odd vein or odd feather out and just a tick down on my traditional gear. And then I'm literally just going to push this with some solid pressure right in. And you'll see a little bit of wax build up. Let me just take and wipe that off. And now, because that HD orange is so bright, to extinguish it with your hands just gonna tweak this back and forth just a little bit back and forth and it's shut off I've squared my arrow making sure that every contact and every ground wire here is in perfect contact with my carbon arrow and I've added a little wax to that to help index that now I'm gonna do it one more time this is a lumen arrow like I said they don't produce these anymore but these are what I shoot out of my bare compounds um, Real nice arrow. They just haven't produced them in a while. I'll do the same thing and typically It's a little easier Without it being fletched and I'm just gonna roll this back and forth 
just a little bit and I have the wrap on there it's ready to go and it will take off just a little bit of that wrap give that a wipe down just to make sure there's nothing on there now this again I don't know if this is a red or orange I'm not 100% but we're gonna find out in here a second a little bit of wax right there wipe that down give it a few twists just to help uh, take that wax and distribute it each time and just a little pressure and she's an HD orange and to shut it off stupid easy I always try to find that little nib on the S knock and just give it a little tweak right there so again Luminox with the fast tool ensures every single time this Luminox is going to turn on and it's going to let you know where your arrow goes we're just up here prepping for the season getting ready and trying to uh, get our equipment in order again it's turned on shut her off no plungers no switches no bobber lights made in america right there you go hd orange baby luminoc burt coyote company